going on, bro? Listen, we watched the game. Nil, nil. Red card. Talk to me. What's, what's your thoughts? Bro, to be honest with you, my thoughts are scrambled, man. Like, they're scrambled. I don't I don't know where to start. It's the same old thing with us. Whether we've won, lost or drawn a game, we're saying the same things. Lack of creativity, lack of galvanisation. No player out there wants to be the protagonist and make the difference. Cheap mistakes are costing us, you know. Leeds were superb today, you know. If I'm any of those Leeds players or management, you take your chances. You you know, they could, they could have done what Villa done to Liverpool against us. How we have not conceded today... I don't know. I mean, you can look for a positive and say, yeah, we're down to 10 men. We got a point, but we just didn't. We didn't look like a team that wanted to play. We didn't start well. Why I'm annoyed is I know Arteta is going to face a lot of heat and undoubtedly so, but it's like he went with four at the back. I'm not defending him and anything, but he went with four at the back. He cried for Pepe. Williams shouldn't have started, but not all of these players have reasons individually to want to stand up to be counted and to play well. And none of them did, you know. Saka is looking like the 72 million man, you know. Pepe, what is he doing for the red card? What is he doing? He's put his own nonsense before the team. I don't get it. I really don't. Mm. Mm. Do you, who's, who's, who's fault do you think it goes down to? Him? Do you think it's the players' fault or Arteta's what? Where would you put the blame for today? I know we didn't lose. Where, where, yeah, what were you thinking? Uh, well, I guess in terms of Arteta, you know, we haven't been playing in terms of being a creative team and that's the result of the training ground. So historically, it's down to him. This game specifically is the players for me. The red card put us in it, but and that will take the headlines. But before that red card, when we had 11 men, did we look like a team that was going to win? The players started poorly, man. You look at the transition, you know. Arteta can't account for some of these things. You, you know, the international break's done. You lost the game before the international break. Some of you are, don't necessarily start. People like William, you know, the whole world is against you, so you should back up your manager. There's plenty of reasons to want to play well. So it's the players today, man. They're just, they're a joke, man. Yeah, was there anyone that you felt stand, stood out today, though, for us, in your opinion? Because I thought Sobios, his his work off the ball and his pressing, I listen, I was, I was impressed with that, but I'm scrambling for names. Saka, when he come on, for like impressive. I don't know, anyone you thought? No, nah, man. If I had to give it to anyone, I'd probably give it to our defenders, excluding Bellerin. I think Leno, I couldn't ask Leno of anything and he bailed us out. I think Tini yeah. and Gabriel tried. Obviously, Saka and Nelson, okay cameos. Past that, you're probably reaching, man. Like, I, I feel you on the Ceballos thing, but we're probably just clutching at straws and reaching. It's just a poor performance, man. It was dead. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree, I agree. Even we had a Pepe thing as well, man. That is so, so unprofessional. Like, it's so as soon as you lean your head forward and in, you know what's coming next, bro. Players nowadays know what to do. Drop to the floor, dive and get the red card, get the player red card. So, Why is he doing like, that? I Why know. is he doing that, fam? Because he has the beating. Alioski's playing well, but he has the beating of him. Why is he oh. doing handbags? It's immaturity. And this this gives up ammo to Arteta for whatever reason if he says, this is why I don't start you now. This is why I don't believe in you. I cannot trust you. It's a joke, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, that put us under under a lot of pressure. Um, I was going to say as well, the handball incident. Talk to me. What, what, what happened? What were you thinking? Was it handball? Was it not? Obviously, I'm an Arsenal fan in it. I would have taken it, but I'm I'm I gotta keep it consistent. It would have been harsh. Like would I only saw it when it happened in real time, but there isn't anything Donny could do. It didn't look like an unnatural position. It looked like he tried to defend and his hand was just there. You know, I have seen worse given in this league, so I have to question why we ain't got it in the sense of consistency. Yeah, yeah. This is what I was screaming, bro. Like Man United yesterday, they got the handball, um, the other team got the handball when he jumped up and defended it and twisted. I was thinking, right, it's licked man's hand. Like it's right, just, it's do you know what I mean? It's it's got to be consistent, but VAR, I don't know, bro. It's, it's, it's a job, man. Yeah, for real, for real. What are you thinking? See, we've got Wolves and, and Spurs next. Like, are they must win? I know for Arsenal fans, every game's a must win, but bro, bro. Bro, mold is a must win. The way we're playing, we just need to go on a consistent run. Like, it's all a must win. Like, it's all a must win. Every game's a must win. Like, look at our run. It's not, it's not, it's, it doesn't care. You know, Wolves aren't going to care that we lost. Spurs definitely aren't. We have to get our act together, man. They're all must wins now. Like, our fixture list ain't kind at all, bro. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. I'm just trying to, I'm just, I was, I was disappointed in today's performance, man. I was I expected us to get something. Obviously, when we went ten, we went to ten men. I'm just. I want to know from your side. Like, do you think we got away with it lightly today? Then, do you think Lee's? Do you know what I mean? That, they had like 24 shots. Do you think we got away lightly with a nil-nil? 
Bro, if Bamford had his shooting boots on, he should be the Premier League's top goal scorer right now. We definitely got away with it lightly. These fan, these players should be vexed that they never got three points. They firmly should have got three points. And uh, that's where it annoys me as an Arsenal fan as well, because in true Arsenal fan fashion, we're playing a team that has lost back-to-back -back games, conceded eight goals, barely any shots on target, clean sheet. Now they see they're probably, it wouldn't surprise me if they go on a run now, bro. It wouldn't surprise me. Credit leads though. Yeah, you gotta credit them. Last last question before we go. Do you think um we need to bring someone in in January? And if so, like what position or what player would you would, yeah, is it your thoughts on the bring someone in January? Talk to bro, me. we need a we need a creative midfielder. We need a either a creative 10 or more so a modern day creative eight and a half, a centre mid that can create. We need it. Is it gonna happen? I don't know. But Arteta's philosophy has got to change in that regards. It's not as white and black as that. Yeah, okay, cool. Listen, deluded, thank you for your time, my brother. Love uh, you, guy. Appreciate, appreciate that. All right, cool. I'm going to keep you on. 50, I was going to just quickly send them the message what time it cuts. Yeah, fam. Man was watching, thinking, feeling stressed, bro. You bro, know what I mean? Bro, I've, I've long, loved the words with us, fam. It's long, bro. It is long. Like, I just can't even... I can't even like fathom what we're gonna fucking do now going forward. Obviously, Wolves and then Tottenham. Even you said Molder as well. Like we got to win, bro. Like cool. it's a joke Definitely thing. We gotta start that game as well in, on Thursday because he can't play. He can't do up the prem anymore. So he's got to hold that one. But I think Arteta said that's it. I think he was quite angry in his. I think they, they come in the boys upstairs. They said, listen, he come in and said that's it for Pepe. So I don't really know. I mean, that's a bit in it. It's a big statement for him as well. Yeah. He said that's it. So I don't know, man. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Like. It's, I can't believe I just can't believe you fell for that. That man were going at it all game. But I was thinking, bro, come on now. You've got to be better than that. Big Premier League player, fam. Are like, you mean in this team? Come on. But he always does that, you know. He always when you DP, he always does, he always reacts and he played into yeah. his hands. Why is he leaning it? Why not just push him or something? Why you got yeah. to head up, man? Yeah, yeah. Why you get exactly that. Why yeah. not away, bro? And um, you can see with that, Don, he's them guys that's gonna dive and make the most of it. If he did it to like that Cooper guy, he might have let him get away with it. This video is supported by Profit Accumulator. Profit Accumulator helps you to earn extra money by doing something called match betting. Match betting isn't gambling. And when you do it properly, and I mean properly, you can't lose. So get involved right now. Click the link in the description and sign up to Profit Accumulator right now.